Hey, what's going on? So today I'm going to be working on rebuilding my aerospace components vacuum vacuum pump. Um, last time out, I was at at a race and it seized up, and I didn't quite know why. And I kind of fiddled with it some. It would turn one way, and I could hear some stuff in there rattling, and then it would turn back the other way for a bit, and then it would get caught up on something and stick and seize. And so. Um, I've taken it off the car and I've gotten it out and I'm starting to take it apart and they make a rebuild kit and that's what I'm going to be working on is rebuilding it. So I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like inside. Got the cover which I already had worked on taking off. There was a pulley on here. Um, this was really, I mean this thing's probably 20 years old. It's really stuck on here. Probably never had the pulley taken off so there are a couple of there are a couple of uh, Allen headed nuts that get threaded inside. There's actually two of them. I had taken both of those out, still couldn't get this pulley to budge off here. Had to get a pulley remover to get it off. And so that's why I've dimpled the nose of my shaft here, which won't affect how it works, but it doesn't look too pretty. Uh, so that was kind of unfortunate. But uh, when you take it off, kind of got this inside. And for the most part, it's pretty clean. There's a little bit of stuff I got to clean out of there yet. A little bit of you can feel it kind of sc scraped up in there I'll try to clean that if I can as best I can um, but uh, we can we can work on rebuilding it the veins have already pulled out but they go in these little slots here this is a three vein unit so I'm gonna work on just kind of finishing cleaning it up and then we'll slap the rebuild kit in there and see how we do all right so a bit of an update I had tried taking this thing apart and ran into uh, a lot of trouble getting the bearings out had to stop get a bearing puller to get the back bearing out the front one i was able to knock out but the back one no real good way to get behind it you're going to need a bearing puller if it's in there tight to get it out you know maybe if it's something a little fresh and your pump's not that old it'll come out without one but i definitely needed it so uh you know i've finally realized after taking this apart, the reason for the failure of the pump in the first place. So there's three veins that go in here, and these veins fly out with centrifugal force against the wall as this thing spins. Well, these veins wear after a while, and uh, I'm not getting this one out because it's a little oily in there, but you can see how wide the new veins are compared to what I had left on this one. So a good, a pretty good gap here that's been worn away. But as these fly out towards the edge of the wall, these have worn so much that as this spun around, these actually were able to fly out and fall out of here because when I opened up this pump, they, two of them were laying in there like that, because right, this is offset just a little bit to create this space over here. So two of them had gotten in there. They had basically gotten so short from wearing out that they flew right out of here and they were able to fall out just like that. That's what happened. So this thing had probably never been maintenanced at all, and it's probably 20 years of life. And uh, I got new veins to put in there. The kit comes with a new big seal for around the front, two new bearings, and these two gaskets here, or these O-rings here, so I can replace those two. And then a front uh, O-ring that goes on the snout of this on the outside of the cover. So we'll get all of that put back together. But as you can see, I've got a little more cleanup to do. Okay, I got all my pieces cleaned up. I'm ready to reassemble. Uh, the kit comes with everything you need, which isn't a whole lot. It's just basically there's a couple O-rings for each of these, which I'm going to actually reuse and keep the ones I've got in my fittings now. I think they're okay. I'm not having any issues there, but I'll hold on to them because I can always replace them later if it becomes an issue. Uh, you got a back bearing and a front bearing. They're the same size. Front one goes there. Uh, so I'll start by putting the back bearing in. There's also, on the back side of this, 
this o-ring that i will replace that uh, is part of the front cover that comes with the kit as well the kit actually does come with a couple of the lock nuts that go in here once you put the pulley back on i have the originals they're fine but you do get a couple i guess in case you were to lose those and then of course you've also got your three carbon fiber veins in the kit as well and that's pretty much everything so not a whole lot of parts and start putting it all back together all right took a little persuasion but the back and front bearings are in now i'm going to move on to putting on some of these o-rings so my seals are ready just this big one that goes around the front housing and then there's also a cover piece that gets knocked in uh, around the snout that sticks out the front of the cover there's that piece too it's kind of a different not so much an o-ring but uh, kind of like a rubber plasticky kind of seal ring that goes on there so we'll get those in and uh, also drop the veins in here next all right, so the veins are in, and what's nice about the Aeromotive kit, everything comes uh, kind of in these plastic bags, uh, very well lubricated, it's kind of in its own little oil bath. So these carbon fiber veins are, are nice and lubed up for you already. You can see they just slip right in there, and then with centrifugal force, when this is going around, it's gonna actually throw these out against the wall. Uh, you may see if you read through the or, uh, aerospace uh, instructions that some clicking noise is not uncommon because what you're hearing is these veins click at a low speed as they get thrown out uh, against the wall of this. But, you know, at higher RPMs when this thing's really zinging, you don't hear that at all. But you can hear the initial kind of click or clacking of them smacking the wall at a low rpm as they get thrown out here and then they get pushed back as the pump does its work and then out here again but uh nice that they come already well oiled up but if you need to lubricate anything while you're doing this they say you just use some motor oil uh, because that's what it's drawing anyway as it draws vacuum out through the valve cover it's pulling in kind of a mist of oil that's what keeps this well lubricated but you can you can fill this or put a little bit of motor oil in all of this as you seal it back up to reinstall it just so that it's kind of lubricated for that initial startup okay so i got the front cover o-ring off just use like a little pick or hook uh, to kind of get it off of there uh, if you can't kind of get like a fingernail under or something um, the new one goes on super easy just kind of get it started around one side and then just run your finger right around it pops right in place Okay, front cover's back on. Uh, did take a bit of persuasion to get it kind of over this initial part of the snout, and then it kind of moved pretty easy down to the bottom. And then again, it was a little tight, which is probably good that it should be as it gets around the seal to tap it down close, but everything spins nice and easy in there. So no problems that way. Uh, about the only thing left to do then is put these six bolts back on, put the pulley on, and I think we can call this done. Okay, we're all back together. These two nuts are now in here. One thing to note is on these two nuts, you're going to have one that has like a small little bit of a unthreaded sort of nipple on it. That meets up with the hole in the shaft. There's a bit of a recess in there so you want to put that one in first and then you thread this second one on here to lock it in place but we're all set ready to put it back on the car test it out